So I've been a priest for five years now, and uh, many times I would hear from people two questions. Why do wicked people prosper? And the other question is, why do bad things happen to good people? Maybe you've asked that yourselves also. For me, I've asked that so many times. Okay? And, you know, so right now we're, we're, we're watching the news and we see a lot of things, bad things happening. And, and sometimes there's, for me, I, I could uh, speak for myself, at the back of my mind, there's that like anger within me and then just praying to God, Lord, I, I'm using these terms, annihilate, okay? Exterminate or, you know, eradicate, you know, erase these bad people from, from, from the world and, and, and so that, only the good people will remain. And we all have that tendency, you know, it's so easy for us to have that way of thinking. And the reason behind that is because even at a very young age, I'm sure for, for, for parents out there, uh, you have children, you know, and, and they, they have, a, they have um, a natural instinct for justice, okay? You know, uh, when maybe their uh, other siblings did something wrong, and the parents did not punish the other sibling and got away with it, what would the children say? That, 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 that child, mommy or daddy, that's not fair, right? So we have a, a natural instinct for justice, you know? We want the good to be rewarded, and we want the bad to be punished. So that's our natural instinct. That's why in, 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 in today's gospel, uh, we see... Jesus explaining the reason why, you know, uh, he's letting the weeds remain with the wheat, okay? And uh, uh, he, he explained this parable about, you know, uh, there's, there's a person who sowed these good seeds, and then an enemy planted the weeds, and they were great growing together. And, and there's a tenant, and, and the servant was asking the master, should we gather all the weeds and throw it out? And, and the master said, no, let it grow together until harvest time. And then Jesus explained um, to, to, to the disciples the significance of who, who was the one who sowed the good seeds, the one who, the, the one who sowed the evil seed, the, the weeds. You know, uh, the world is the field. Uh, harvest time is judgment day. The reapers are the angels. And, uh, and those, the weeds, will be thrown to the furnace of fire where there will be gnashing, uh, gnawing and gnashing of teeth. And then the, the wheat will inherit the kingdom of heaven. And, and so th th that's the reason why, why the Lord is, is allowing that to happen. It's because of God's love and mercy. The Father, the Father is so loving. The Father is so merciful that He is giving this time for people to repent. Okay? And uh, I have several uh, key passages from Scripture that is very good for you to reflect, you know, one is from Romans 5, verse 8. The other one is from 1 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verse 4. But I think the most important scripture passage for today is from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, where it says, The Lord is not slow about His promise, as some count slowness, but is forbearing toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. You know, the Lord loves us so much, and in fact, He sent forth His only Son to die for us while we were yet sinners because He wants us to be with Him in heaven. You know, in, in the diary of uh, St. Faustina, uh, Jesus gave this message to St. Faustina, and this is the message of Jesus. Let the greatest sinners place their trust in my mercy. They have the right before others to trust in the abyss of my mercy. My daughter, write about my mercy towards tormented souls. Souls that make an appeal to my mercy delight me. To such souls, I grant even more graces than they ask. I cannot punish even the greatest sinner if he makes an appeal to my compassion. But on the contrary, I justify him in my unfathomable and inscrutable mercy. Right? Before I come as a just judge, I first 
open wide the door of my mercy. He who refuses to pass through the door of my mercy must pass through the door of my justice. That's from the diary, section 1146. Another, another uh, section from the diary of St. Faustina, from 1645, Jesus, uh, St. Faustina wrote, Today I saw the suffering Lord Jesus. He leaned to- down toward me and whispered softly, My daughter, help me to save sinners. Suddenly, a burning desire to save souls entered my soul. When I recovered my senses, I knew just how I was to help souls, and I prepared myself for greater sufferings. Okay? So, you know, the Lord is merciful, and and He's giving us this time of mercy for us to repent, you know, for us to undergo conversion so that we will be in heaven one day with Him. One story that I've read uh, is from a man. His name is Jack, uh, Jack Fesh. How many of you are familiar with Jack Fesh? Okay, good. Anyone? Okay. So he's, uh, he's French. Okay, so for, for those Francophones here, maybe you're familiar with Jack Fesh. Uh, he, was, he was from a wealthy family, and he was born in 1930. Okay. Um, he, was, he, was, uh, he was a great sinner. Okay, he got someone pregnant, had a child, and then, and then married that person, and then after that had a mistress and had another child. Okay? Another thing is that um, because he was not experienced peace and joy, he wanted to run away from life, and that's why he, he, he planned to buy a boat and to go to Tahiti. And his father, you know, did not support his idea. So he, the father did not give him the money that he needs. So what happened is that he, he took a gun and went and robbed a money changer, uh, a money changer. Okay, and, and things, went, uh, things did not go well. Um, he ran and, and, and the police were chasing him. And while chasing him, he shot at one of the police and the police died. Okay, now... What happened here, what happened then, it was, it was like the, uh, the, the news of, you know, uh, it, it, it was a great news. People were following it in TV, you know, in, in the newspaper, and there was a trial. It was like a trial of the century. You know, the, the, the funeral of that police officer who died was televised. Okay? And this happened, was, uh, this happened in the 1950s, 1954. Okay? So... He got, so he was sentenced for, uh, and he was sentenced to die. So he was in death row for three years. So while he was in, in, in death row for three years, he had a spiritual awakening. Okay? He was transformed from ridiculing those uh, who are practicing their Catholic faith into weeping for his sins. You know, he was, he was begging for, for, for his wife and for his daughter to forgive him for what he has done. And, you know, uh, so he, he, and, and he wrote diaries, uh, a diary that really expressed how he, he fell in love with Jesus. Okay? So he had this, uh, so he, 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 he was, he, he died um, through uh, a guillotin? Is it, is it, is it, am I pronouncing it right? Guillotin? Guillotin? Okay, so I, I'm not familiar with the term, so I, I search on the internet, what does that mean? So it's like uh, you put your head there, and then there's like a chopping thing that comes down. Uh, so so that, 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 that's what happened to him, you know? So he died of, of, of guillotin. But after his death, you know, they saw his diary and saw, you know, the, the, the conversion that happened and how he really, you know, was, was very in love with the Lord you know, the, 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 the Catholic Church in France was uh, requesting for him to become a saint. Okay? So you see here, a great sinner, you know, is now on his way to becoming a saint. So, you know, for, for, for us, let's, let's be merciful also. You know, let's imitate the, the great mercy of God. In, in fact, like if, if, we, if, we, if, we have the, if we really pray that, you know, that, that all the bad people would be annihilated from, from this world, I think 
all of us will be included in that. <laughs> no, nobody will, will, will remain on earth because all men have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. And that's you and that's me. We're all part of this. We're all in need of mercy. We're all in need of conversion. And the Lord is giving us this time. You know, and instead of judging other people, you know, let, let's, 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 let's imitate St. Faustina, who has a great desire to save souls. Okay? And, uh, you know, just, just to end this, well, well uh, I, I was really, really inspired by, 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 by the story of Jack, Jack Welsh because it gives me hope because I know I'm a great sinner. You know, but uh, one thing that, that I, I, I the, uh, a saying you know, that I remember while reading the life of Jack Welsh is from the saying of Oscar Wilde. Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future.